Indian Motorcycles is on the proverbial warpath of late, rolling out a handful of new 2017 models in the aftermath of parent company Polaris Industries' recent announcement of plans to wind down its Victory Motorcycles products. First came the Roadmaster Classic, a leather-bagged addition to Indian's popular touring line followed with the Chieftain platform getting a pair of upscale additions, making it a family of four. Joining the base model Chieftain Dark Horse, $21,999, and Chieftain, $23,999, the Chieftain Limited, $24,499, fronts a fresh look with an open front fender in place of the latter's iconic valance unit we have all come to know. The restyled flare tail fender provides added exposure and emphasis of an attractive new 19-inch diameter 10-spoke contrast cut cast alloy wheel replacing the original 16-inch hoop, and clean view of the dual 300mm floating brake rotors and Indian branded four-pot calipers. A color-matched headlight bezel and two-piece contrast stitched leather saddle, sand studs and kinkos, complete the more sleek, aggressive new look. The Chieftain Elite, $31,499, lends a factory custom treatment with gorgeous fire glow red candy finish that appears oceans in depth. The hand-painted marble accents and black pinstriping add stunning custom detail unique to each and every machine. Color-matched accents applied to the tank console, horn, airbox, primary and cam covers along with billet rider and passenger floorboards attract the eye like moths to a flame. I spent a day aboard both new models riding the urban streets, freeways, and back roads of San Diego, California. Sharing a chassis and Thunderstroke 111 V twin power rain in common with the Roadmaster models results in crisp ride by wire engine response and a mountain of torque doled out in ultra linear fashion from off idle to the 5000 revolution per minute rev ceiling. The trio of bikes I rode had minimal brake in miles, two of which needed minor clutch play adjustment, tools required, to eliminate notchy shift action and difficulty finding neutral at stops. Aside from that easily solved nit, both of the new Chieftain models earned feathers in the cap with a host of standard touring amenities including the 7-inch touchscreen ride command info slash audio slash navigation system, keyless ignition and remote locking sidebags, motorized windscreen, and absolutely superb cruise control operation. Overall comfort is topped with relaxed ergos, supportive dished saddle, and plush yet controlled ride quality. Rake and 